What is going on everybody? Today's video is going to be brought to you by Blue Apron. I am wearing a yellow apron, not a blue one. I don't have a blue one, nor should I be wearing an apron in the first place. So you guys remember the other day, this video? What are you doing, Gary? There is some sort of coon or something because I, the minnows that I put here yesterday are all gone. So something is eating them. If they, I, I'm trying to think, like if there's coons or something eating there, they can easily get inside here. Well, everybody told me that it was birds. And I was thinking, it's not birds. I know it's not birds. It can't be birds. No birds are gonna do that. Well, some birds might do that, but not the ones that are living in our area. So I went and put up a trail cam and it got kind of interesting. So we'll be going over that footage today, but while we are doing that, we're gonna be cooking with the stuff that is sent to us. You guys know that we've got a daughter. She's in school doing some crazy chemist stuff and I'm constantly either traveling or doing YouTube stuff. So we, we partnered with Blue Apron to do this video and to show you guys how easy it is for us to integrate actually being able to cook at home while being on such a busy schedule. So there are two types of plans. You got the family plan and you got the two person plan. Click on the link down below. First 100 people get three free meals. Do it, do it to it. Now let's get the chopping, let's get the chopping. While she's doing that, I'm gonna tell you guys this. Look at this, it even comes with a freaking a checklist on how to do it for people like me that are not the greatest cooks in the world. Make, make my life easy. But you guys wanna review some footage? I kinda of wanna review some footage. I kinda of wanna review some footage. I'm gonna let her get the chopping away. This, she's actually really, really good at what she does when it comes to cooking. My skill level of cooking is that of a chimp. Chimps, do chimps cook well? Was that, not, um, was that probably wasn't a good reference, right? Chimps don't have kitchens, you're right. So the area you guys see on top of the tank where that piece of wood is, you know the wood that I always move out of the way to get Gary out? There is a, a piece of catfish on there. I just wanted to test it out, you know the theory behind y'all saying there was a bird. And then the other area you guys see down below, that's actually a package of hot dogs I cut open. I don't know, you know, let's just see what really wants to eat a package of hot dogs. Oh, it's now 64 degrees out and it's 1021. So what is that? Exactly four hours later, Guess who shows up? Lonesome Dove himself. Let's go ahead and just, let's just roll this clip. Oh, Lonesome Dove doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, what are you doing there, little buddy? Oh, look at the camera. Oh, now you're back there. So the first night we have one lonesome, she's just chopping away, one lonesome little raccoon. You know what I mean? Just one lonesome raccoon doing his thing. You know what's crazy about this raccoon? He didn't touch any of that meat. He's not a meat eating raccoon. And then of course, you know, something had to go wrong and a tree limb decided it wanted to do this and just kind of just flutter in front of the camera. So that's pretty much, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of that night. But you know what? I had it up for two nights running and it, it got a little bit more interesting the second night, which, which makes me think for one of my, I'm gonna take off this apron because it's kind of strange that I was wearing it in the first place, but it, may, it gives me some sort of an idea of what I need to do this, this coming week. I'll give her props. This looks like that. I mean, who doesn't want a nice succulent steak like that? I love you, mommy. I love you. She has made the appearance. She was taking a nap while we were doing that earlier. She is not asleep anymore. We actually got to get on a flight to go to Chicago in, the flight is in three hours. I'm getting my, this, this is going to be my, my food before I get on the flight, so I have to spend a bunch of money at the airport. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Telling you, one day we're going to have a really good conversation. Whoa, what? Whoa, it's a light. Say light. 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 Whoa. Light. Here's what we got at the end with. Now let's go over the footage. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this this steak while I watch over this stuff. We're gonna let her watch it too because she she thinks she thinks these little perpetrators are cute. I don't. You did a good job on that. All right. I'm gonna get some arm. Sauce is good. All right. Mommy. So Mommy. Mommy. That's a lot. Yes. All right. You ready to watch this? Let's see. So this is going into night number two. This is what we got going on here. Now we've got three in total. This is 11, 11 at night. Oh, look at them. Look at them look inside the little bucket. 
What's it looking? I'm looking at the bucket. Oh yeah, get off my bucket. Oh. Now we're going to the second clip. For some reason, they're they're knocked into like five or ten second clips. I don't really understand why that is or how it works. But that's what we got. We got three coons in there right now. Three of the raccoons. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Look in the bucket. Oh yeah, you want to get in that bucket? You ain't getting in that bucket. Look at them. They haven't taken. Have you noticed they haven't taken in the meat yet? He just now kicked it off. See now it's just on the ground. This is 11:16. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, Daddy. look, look at him. Look at him trying to get in the back. Look at the look at the one in the back trying that to get in. That must be a family. Oh my God! There's it's a there's, big one. Look at that. Oh. Now, oh, now there's four of them. Look, one, two, three, oh. four. Uh -huh. Yep, there's four. Wait. Look at him, he's chilling. Oh, now all the meat's gone. You notice all the meat's gone? He's over there chewing on it in the corner like a crazy little coon. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him, look at the camera. What are you looking at the camera for, coon? Oh, they're back. Yeah, bite your butt. Oh, what do you think about that? Oh, look at them. They just look so cute. They're though. not cute. Nope. Like that little tiny one. This is one. This is one in the morning. This is two hours later. They've been cruising in this backyard for a while. Whoa, 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 whoa we can't touch that. Mm. Mm. Oh, we've got my cucumbers. Those are your dogs, Avery. Swami. Those aren't dogs. Those are not dogs. Oh, look at them! 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 Look at them trying to get in there. Swami. Yeah. It's me showing up, just like what the. What is? Mmm. You're a fish. Well, there's the review of the footage. Am I kind of am I kind of worried about it? No. Did you know what we're gonna do? I think we should catch him, and 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 probably do what you most of you guys probably wouldn't do because the raccoons are not good. They're not good. What do you think I should do with them? Do you think I should catch them? Should we catch them? We gotta get we gotta get rid of them because of Gary. Yes, you should catch them, but call the mm. Mm. Animal control to come pick them up. I'll let you guys decide. You guys tell me down in the comment section. What should we do with these perpetrators that are coming and trying to eat the pet bass? Call animal control. Well, what would Robert do? Anyway, I'm going to finish this. Get ready. I'll see you guys here in a minute. I'll see you in... Actually, I'll see you when this video is live. Just so you know. Wow, it's really dark looking. Oh, oh hitting everything. Also, for everybody knows, Gary the Bass is still, still good to go. Like, good to go. Uh, all right, we'll go through here. Just kidding, we're not going. So as you know, the day is taking a really weird turn. So I think I'm gonna go look at some traps. Told you guys I want to get into trapping, and I've got plenty. I think I got about an hour or so. But let's go see what what Sarah's, Sarah has to say about me not going. She was fully expecting me to go. Oh, oh. Well, with that being said, those rods, everything on Favorites website right now, free shipping to the end of the month. So if you're wanting one of my rods or anybody else's rods, go over there, go check them out. There'll be free shipping. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe she's. Sarah, you're not here. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's up? I decided not to go. Why? Oh, I don't know. Also, just so everybody knows, I did fish today. I fished this morning for probably three hours or so. I'm going to show you guys some of the footage right now. Oh my gosh. I came here today to do some river fishing. Holy crap. Look what I just hooked up to. Wow, this is going to be pretty dangerous to get down there. Didn't think this one too much through. Come on, dude. Woo! Don't freak out. Don't you do it. Don't freak out. All right, dude. Enjoy yourself. Holy crap. I was not expecting to catch that. Ugh. 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 The real question I ask myself when you guys watch that footage is how bad the audio might have been. Because I haven't seen the footage and I know how loud that water was just through there. And it could have been just absurdly loud and you guys could not hear anything. Because there's been times where I've been around like waterfalls 
and it's been like pretty far away and it was really loud with GoPro audio. So that may have sounded like I stuck my head outside of an airplane. I don't know. Change of plans. I was just at Academy. I met some subscribers. Really nice gentlemen. We are going to go bow fishing at night right now. I know this, this video is all over the place from cooking to trying to fish to really sucking it up at life to trying to get on a plane to go to Chicago, get on an Uber, coming back, and now we're going bow fishing. But that is my day. You guys see my entire day the entire time. How I'm going to film this at night, I have no idea, but I'm going to give it a shot. I've got, I, bought a, I bought a headlamp there. I was like, I, I at least need light because when I was out fishing the other day at night, I didn't have a headlamp because I am me and I forget everything. So I bought one with, I think it was three or 400 lumens. I think it was 400. I bought the highest lumens ones I can get for the cheapest price. I'll let you guys go first. You guys know where you're going? Yeah, I mean, he's the first time boat fishing here. Oh, okay. What the hell? There's a gar right there. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a log. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot the log. What's up? Oh. I thought you were talking about a water moccasin. Well, I didn't hit him either. There you go. I got him. Oh man, you got a shot here. Oh, oh my. Are you good, dude? Please say, I'm getting in the video. Please say that's recording. I don't know. Yeah, it's recording. I don't know if it got it though. It's so <laughs> Look on the back side of that power worm. He's Oh, he's putting it to the he's actually attaching it to the web. Yeah. He's trapping it. Wow, that's, that's cool. crazy, dude. See if it'll die. If you guys want to go tomorrow, let me know. Yeah. All right. I'll, hey, it's nice. Yeah. Nice fishing with you. Yeah, I will see you guys at some hey. point. Fishing with those guys were freaking awesome. I'm dead tired. I know this video seems like it's all over the place. It may not seem like it's all over the place. That's because it is all over the place. But if you guys ever see me out in public like that, please, please come up and say what's up. Maybe we'll go fishing if I'm, if I'm free, like tonight. Those guys asked me. They were going fishing. I was like, hell yeah, I'll go fishing. I didn't know where we were going. I didn't know who they were, but it was awesome. Those guys were cool, chill, and awesome. If you guys ever see Sarah out in public, she's learning this new language called, called, what, is, what language are we learning today? It's, it's chemistry, Drew. <laughs> she's learning a new language called chemistry. But if you guys ever see her, I want you guys to go, hit with that squat. You know, that's what he said to me when he first, what did I tell you that? So the first thing that he said to me, his name's Colin. He didn't say, what's up, Rob? He didn't say anything like that. All I hear is I'm in Academy. And I hear, hit him with that squat. I was like, what the hell is that? Kind of caught me off guard. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you click that link in the description. I know you guys want to. I know you guys want to support the channel, support the companies that support this channel. But either way, click this video or click that video. Click subscribe down below. I love every single one of you guys. And I'm probably going to just, um, I'm going to disappear off the screen right about now.